Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I set up my planners that I recently got. I just did a haul video and I showed you guys the vertical um, layout and did the monthly layout planners that I got and I, I got them all set up for the most part. So I'm gonna do a flip through of it and then we're also gonna redate this thing because I had to use months from 2021 for 2020 because this planner, both of the planners didn't start until um, July of this year, but obviously I wanted to use them as soon as possible. So let's dive into this thing. We'll do a flip through and then I'm going to show you guys my process for redating planners. Of course, I decided to keep the leopard print cover because it's gorgeous. And I also kept the um, kind of champagne color metal discs on it. So that's the cover and the discs. We open it up. I haven't put my name in it yet because I have um, I don't have a sticker for it. I don't write my names in my planner anymore because my calligraphy is that of a toddler's. <laughs> it's not cute by any stretch of the imagination. So I just order stickers that say Ashley and I get them off of Etsy. So when that sticker comes in, I'll put my name in there then. Okay, so I'm gonna use September of 2021 for April of 2020. I haven't redated it yet. It still says September of 21, but we will redate this in this video, at least for one month. I'm not gonna do it, make you guys watch it for all the months because my process will be the same. But I haven't planned out anything because one, I'm on quarantine. We all are, most of us are, unless you're an essential worker, which by the way, if you are, thank you for all that you're doing. Um, so I haven't redated it. I haven't planned in it yet because I didn't know initially what I was gonna put in the monthly, but I think I have a plan. So the vertical layout planner that I'm using is for nursing school and it's my catch-all planner. It's just for everything in life in general. However, nursing school is almost over. Y'all, I only have two more assignments left and I will be done with nursing school. Like, I can't, I can't even process that. Like, I can say it, but it doesn't seem real to me. It's just insane. So my plan for the monthly is going to be where I house my NCLEX study guide at. So I started to create like a study plan of what I want to study every single day leading up to the NCLEX. I, um, I don't know when I'm taking it yet, but it's not too, it's never too early, I guess, to start studying for it. So today's the 18th. I'm going to start studying on the 20th. So I will use this month and what says October what will be May as my um, way to map out my study plan for the NCLEX. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with the monthly. I think that's the best way to use it, especially like I said, since we're in quarantine and we're not going anywhere and I don't really have any plans. So that's my plan for the monthly. And I am using the leopard print dividers and I got these um, labels from Amazon. They're carp diem, I think is how you say that. These things are awesome. Let me show these to you guys really quickly because if you're considering getting them, I highly recommend it. They're only a few bucks too, so it's totally worth it. But it comes with four sheets total. And it says things like um, to do, work, business, calendar, projects, daily, priorities, don't forget, all kinds of things. You got budget on here, urgent chores, so many different ways that you can use these labels. I'm putting them on my dividers, which y'all can't see probably that well, but right on this one, which I know it's got the the print up there so it makes it hard to see but that one says calendar and then I have one that says get it done I have one that says like a boss and then this one says notes but I use these labels and they also have some in here that says um, there's two sheets of each so pets friends play high five fitness on the go there's I mean there's a ton of them here so you could definitely get lots of use out of these so I just want to show you guys that I got them on Amazon I can link them down below in the description if you guys want to check them out but that's the labels I use so if we flip it on over to the weekly pages I didn't start until the 13th in here and this was my first spread inside of this planner. I literally hadn't planned in a vertical layout in like two years y'all because I was using the dashboard layout for nursing school because I needed the functionality of it. However, I will tell you this, I am so used to, because of nursing school, I'm so used to having like my days packed plum full and class and clinicals and studying and exams and all these things that now I just feel like my weeks are completely empty. I mean, I guess that's a blessing. That's a great thing to have, but for, you know, three years, I'm two of actual nursing school and then the year prior I did generals, but for three years I've had so much stuff on my plate with school that now I feel like, what am I doing with myself? So it was actually kind of nice though too because I can decorate a little bit more. 
which is the whole reason why I wanted to go vertical because I have so many cute vertical stickers that I want to use and I can start decorating more. So that's got me excited. Um, I have a divider here. This one says get it done at the top. So this is for my weekly pages. This is how I'm tracking my assignments. And like I said, I only have two left to do. So I figured this was easier. This way it goes with me week to week until I complete those assignments. So that's how I'm keeping track of that for right now. And then I kind of started to um, do a little bit of pre-planning for next week. These are insert papers and I have a, a nice little stack of them right back here in the back. So every week I can start pre-planning as the weeks go. I like doing this because these can, I can have them in here on the week that it needs to be and I can start pre-planning weeks in advance if I have to. Before I was using this, which I still love, absolutely love doing this because it breaks it down by day. You can put the week on here, things to do, goals, whatever. This was nice as well, but I do like having an insert to where I can do some pre-planning. So I was excited to get those. All right, so moving on from there, we just have the rest of the weeks in here. Now this will say, I'm not gonna redate this. This is gonna say October, 2021, even though this is the October, 2021 will become my um, May of 20 calendar. I don't really use these pages anyway. So I'm not worried about that. I won't redate it. Now, if I decide to use it, which like I said, I probably won't, I don't use them. Um, maybe I'll put something black up there or something to redate it, but I'm not really worried about that. Um, like I said, October, 2021 will be for May 20. And then that's just that November of 2021 is going to be for June of 20. And then the planner actually starts in July. So I have to redate three months, which is not a big deal. I'll show you guys how I do that here in just a minute. And then it goes into July, which I don't have to redate. So I've got up until August of 2020 in here for the vertical layout. And then we flip over and we've got um, my monthly layout planner. Now my monthly layout planner is what I'm using for coaching and I'm using it for social media plans. So I'll show you guys how I have this set up. Um, for the monthly, I ha I'm inside of an academy which is teaching me how to create content and different things like that. So I outlined the academy schedule here, which I love. And I really like this planner because it's it already has florals and stuff on here. So I didn't feel like I needed to decorate it. And that was, that was really nice. So I just use mild liners. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, those are mild liners. Highly recommend them if you've been thinking about getting them. By the way, they're double-sided. I did not know this for the longest time. <laughs> but they are double-sided, so if you do get them, there's two ends to this. Don't be like me and have them for months before you realize it, but I just use my own liners to underline things, kept it super simple, and I actually like the clean look of it. All right, so moving on from there, we go over into the monthly. Um, I have this covered up with a sticky note. It says goals, and I have three goals set here. I do want to keep those private, so I covered them up, but I'm using this just as a a general to-do list of things that I want to get done in the month of April. Now this is dated for September of 2021. You can see it up here, but again, I have to redate those. I don't know. I'll probably just cover that up with a sticker if I'm being completely honest. I'm not, I'm not even super worried about that, but um, over here, there's three habit trackers and I have, like I said, this is a coaching and a social media planner. So I have um, post. I'm tracking if I'm posting every day because I am terrible at that. So I want to be better at posting and creating content for you guys engagement, actually getting on Instagram and engaging with people, commenting on people's stuff because I see so many great spreads, but I always feel like I'm in a hurry. So then I don't comment and that's just not cool. I don't like that. I like engaging with y'all. So replying back to comments, um, commenting on my YouTube channel. So if y'all comment on here, I will respond. And then lastly, I'm tracking group and team. So I am a health and fitness coach and I have people on my team and I'm tracking to make sure that I'm keeping up with them every single day. So um, this may look like me sending them something motivational, me sending them meal plans, uh, me checking in with everybody, seeing how they're doing, me doing one-on-one -on -one coaching calls, which I do quite frequently. So that's what that is for. Um, I use this div uh, divider. I always get the names wrong, you guys. I do this every time dashboard no it's not it's a divider it is a divider i am correct on that jeez louise i've been using the happy planner for years y'all would think i'd know the names of stuff by now but let's it's fine we'll blame it on nursing school <laughs> um the tab i used up here says like a boss it says find your wild and then over here is a little section for priorities and i just numbered them one two three so i've got 
um, the academy that I'm in, which I talked about, my launch calendar. So I actually have a challenge group that's open right now. And so I've got some things I need to finish up for that. And then my content calendar, which was mapping out the things that I want to post on Instagram and like this YouTube video and that kind of thing. This is kind of like a daily reminder of what I need to do every single day. So I just put that here. This is a book that I'm reading. And then I just used um, some stickers and washi and stuff just to kind of decorate this a little bit. I didn't feel the need to fully decorate it because I love the color scheme. If I just like the cleanness of it. It looks really good to me. But moving on from there, the way that this is set up is by checklist. And so I just took a mild liner, highlighted over the day. So it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so on and so forth. And then I just have checklists for each day. And that's how I plan on using that. So moving on, it goes into October. The bad thing about these monthlies is um, they actually say the month on there. Like this says September here. This says October here. I won't be redating that, but I will, um, I will redate it here and on the tabs as well. So I'm not really worried about the dividers though. That's not a big deal to me. So that'll be October will be May. November will be June once I get it redated. And again, I kept up until August in here. So July is when the actual planner starts. I don't have to redate that. I got August. And then we go to the notes section and this is where I keep inserts at. So the divider here says you are fearlessly authentic. It's really super cute. Man, you guys, I just love that print. It makes my heart so happy. And then I keep some assignment sheets here. There's only a couple. I don't, I probably won't even use those. I'll probably just use the one that I had I showed you guys earlier. These are for pre-planning. And then I have these cute little um, inserts that say stay wild. And then these ones were big sheets for the big um, happy planner and I cut them down to fit inside of a classic. I just stuck a few of these back here. And then from there we have a super duper cute folder and inside of the folder I just have stickers for right now. Um, sometimes I like to put things back here and I just, for the classic size, I take a piece of paper. Like let's say I want a full sheet in here. Um, let me grab a full sheet real quick and I'll show you guys. What I do is I just take the sheet, like this is a regular size piece of paper, fold it in half and it'll fit down inside of there if there's something that I want to put back here. So that's just the folder and the cover. So that's the planner flip through. Now let's get to redating this thing. So to redate this, I'm actually going to use this um, guided journal that the Happy Planner has, which I started to use um, in September of last year, but I stopped using it. I don't know why I stopped using it. I, again, let's just blame nursing school because that's easy. <laughs> but anyways, I have this in here and I'm actually going to use one of the pages from back here. They're all the same pages, but um, I'm just going to take like this one and I'll show you why. So we will go here to September. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to take, I needed something that was just plain white, but also a very similar color, which now that I'm looking at it, it's not. This is like an off white and that's super white. So I wonder, hmm, maybe that'll match a little bit better. It doesn't fully cover it up though. Let's just use this. Cause if I decorate it, you're not gonna be able to tell. It'll be fine. Okay. I am going to take this out and this one. We are going to measure this out. So about three and a half inches. Height, let's do from the, I don't want to do from quite from the top. Oh gosh, I don't know how to read a tape measure when it gets this small. Hmm. Go to like right there on height. So if we take this from right about there. Okay. Okay. 
and then I'm gonna cut it. I was gonna use my paper cutter, but I'm not going to. Let's just use a pair of scissors. I think it'll be fine. As she doesn't cut a straight line. okay though because it doesn't have to be perfect right so I'm going to take double-sided tape and cover that up and I'm gonna use the side that has the pencil marks on it Oops, wrong way. You guys might see my head here for a minute. Okay, so now that that's covered up, I will do the same thing for the 2021. Now, if you guys are decorating this with like flowers and stuff, you could honestly use florals just to stick them down without, if you don't have double-sided tape, I've done that before. Okay, so there's that. And then I have some memory keeping sticker books, which have months and those and years or numbers anyway. So I'll use these to actually redate them. So let's see. I would like to use black because mm, that one's not gonna work. Let's look at this one. Well, I may not be able to use black. I really wanted some big ones. Well, those might work. It's not huge, but we can make it work or <laughs> hmm, I'm going to do some research. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I did some research on Etsy because I truly want bigger stickers here. I don't want these little ones. So I'm going to show you all my laptop set it like this I found these ones on Etsy and I think y'all can see but I'm going to use these ones not the colors but it comes with color but I'm going to use no it doesn't select color oh cool we can do black ones okay great but these are I'm going to order these so I'm going to wait as far as actually sticking stickers down and I may look and see too if I can find yearly stickers for it so that's what I'm going to do but I am going to once I uh, finish up this video I will do this exact same process to the rest of the months and then once I get the Etsy stickers in I'll place those down. I don't know if I'm going to decorate this month specifically with um, stickers just because there's only two weeks left and I just want to keep it simple with my NCLEX uh, study schedule in here so I'll probably just use mild liners kind of like I did in this monthly. Or where, where did I do that at? Oh, I did it here. Yeah, I'm in the right place. Good Lord. So I'll probably just leave it like it is and just use um, mild liners to highlight things. So I think that's what I'm going to do because I truly want big stickers and I don't just want to redate it for the sake of doing it and getting it done. I want it to be a certain way because we all want our planners to be our, to be our own, right? So that's what I'm going to do with that. So for now, we will just pop this back in there in the planner if I could pick it up. And it'll go here 
and here. So for all of my fellow nursing students, if you guys want to see my NCLEX study guide and how I'm making it, let me know and I'll do a video. Um, I may not do an actual video of how I make it, but I may do a video showing it to you and how I broke things down. So um, that was that, but that's the planner guys. This is how I have it set up so far. If you guys have any tips, please let me know. If you guys have any questions, also let me know about that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. And also, come hang out with me over on Instagram. That's where the fun really happens in stories. It gets fun over there. So, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.